Hello YouTube, this is Arcades Dude Minecraft, and I just wanted to do a quick update on my last video about how to make a lever act as a button. I've managed to um, take a look at some of this piston circuitry here from Minecraft Addict's Circuit Gallery World, and I have compacted it quite a bit. As you can see, we got the lever branching off into four different ways here. Um, and we have sticky pistons, that's what these are. And the repeaters here on the wool blocks are, yeah, I was just messing with this. Let me see, it was supposed to be, okay, yeah, this is right, this is right, okay. So, you see here we have no delay, and then we have the 442, the same as before. You'll see this is 442. This one is also no delay. And then behind it takes the output from the blocks. And here's the piston cell limit here. here. Um, I'm going to fly a little bit. Okay. All right, so here's the lever. And you see that piston there activates for a short moment and then goes back off on either the, either switch of the um, lever. Basically, this is a combined edge detector, edge trigger circuit with a nine tick delay so that whenever the current changes, it sends out a pulse, nine ticks. You can see that from the video there. And here's the regular button for comparison. Yep, so it's not too difficult to build. Um, just branch off four, and then make sure you have four repeaters here. The, the repeaters there are so that the wires don't cross. And it's also so that the, the signal does not repeat. Pistons make it a lot smaller. And this is the simplified version of this. This is, these are these two here are Minecraft X circuits. You'll notice that this here, when I flip it, doesn't do anything when it goes on, but when it goes off, it triggers that. Uh, let me go down a little bit here, so you can see. When it goes on, it doesn't do anything. When it goes off, it triggers the piston. So that would be a falling edge detector. This one is the opposite. When it turns on, it triggers it, but it does nothing when it turns off. So, very compact circuits. I'm like, I wonder. I was looking for a delay circuit, and I wandered across these here in the circuit gallery, and I was like, you know what? I bet I could combine these. So, the only difference here is the uh, the ticks here, which will allow the simulation of the button. And you'll notice this one on the left here is actually this one here, so that when uh, current gets switched on, it triggers the mechanism. So that's what this these two blocks here, the piston, sticky piston on the left is doing. This is triggering it when it's been pressed on, and it sends the signal out to the piston there to activate it. The one on the right here is triggering it when it turns off. So hopefully that should help. It's uh, much more compact, nothing extra to it. Let's get a look around here so you can see it. And again, the timings on the circuits are um, initial state um, 2, initial state 2, and then I have these extra 2 here and here, which are set at the maximum delay of 4, and that will cause the 9, well, combined with the 2 tick delay, that'll cause the uh, simulation of a button time, so that you can use your lever as a button, like a real light switch. Hope this helps.